Hello, everybody, it is I, Chaos396. This playthrough is almost over. All we have to do now is the Battle of Endor. This and there's a cutscene right here. Must skip, must skip, must skip. I will skip it. Oh, I skipped it. Yay! And there's the Death Star in the background, uh, in the foreground. That's something I do have to say I like about the second uh, game. You can play on the Death Scar Scarf Star. And look! This is the extra! Mini! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just uh, funny. Yeah, this did cheat Ted to do it. Uh, basically, you have to make a new uh, file uh, and uh, make uh, your user slash code name Dub Dub. You know what you saw earlier? Everyone becomes um, uh, this uh, short, the size of an Ewok. Whoa. I live! <laughs> I've been uh, wanting to do that glitch for so long. Uh, it was in the original uh, uh, Galactic Civil War uh, Ren Bar, but that was cancelled, sadly. Because of the thrilling time limit. And also, they have uh, more troops than us. However, we have the freaking Ewoks, so we are. His head is levitating. <laughs> That's also uh, something that I hear like. In the mini, the pilot uh, rebels, their heads levitate. I don't know why, but they do. And it's awesome. It's just funny. And if you look in uh, the front of uh, uh, their helmet, you can actually see their face. So their head is levit is literally levitating. We have Ewoks, they have those things, so we are kind of screwed. However, something I do like that they included in uh, this game, they actually in the included some of uh, the traps uh, from uh, the movie that the Ewoks uh, set up to destroy those things. Which I always uh, thought was uh, kind of nice of them. You don't often see them, but they're there. And they're helping you. I love the heads I was. Whoa! Oops. Oh well. Now, the main thing, uh, yeah. You, you don't have to do uh, uh, something uh, that much uh, different, uh, but uh, what you can do is more optional than anything. Uh, you can uh, go uh, to the uh, shield uh, generator of uh, the Death Star and uh, destroy it. You need explosives to do it, but it's possible. I've almost done it before. All of uh, the enemy troops uh, were dead before I could do it, so... I'm just shooting blindly and killing things. When they're short, they even waddle. That's just... <laughs> I love that. I love teats. And codes and extras. And there was going to be an extras uh, video which showed this up in the first person view and the Jedi, but... I didn't want to do that. I mean, uh, Pokemon Doodful was the only one who wanted to do that, but since he's gone... Haha! -ha! Suck it, dude of Pokemon. Dude full of Pokemon. This is gonna hurt! Did someone try to shoot me? No. And ignore him. You can't kill him. Or, well, you can as a heavy trooper. A rebel veteran, as they call it. Don't shoot me. But as a normal trooper, who I always use, you can't. And I still go by what I said uh, earlier, uh, the rebel uh, soldiers are uh, the best ones in the game. The best troops in the game, in any case. Stop putting me up here. Uh, uh, whatever. We're not doing that bad. Back me up. Right away. 
And they even have the same voices. I, yeah, almost expect them to talk in really high, squeaky voices. But no, they talk in their same voices. And I lived through that grenade too. I'm on a roll. Literally. <laughs> oh, now we're winning. Nice. Guess we're doing better than I thought. Yeah. And torts. <laughs> I doubt that fire hurts you either. Oh, I'm so glad it's almost over. Sadly, I can't show you why the awesome Victoria set ending because it's from a movie! Curse you, YouTube! You fixed the time limit that fixed the thrilling movie thing. No one wants to go out of their uh, way to ask a, uh, the creator. Grenade! Get the frill out! Ow. That guy's got good aim. Uh, where's the ramp? I want, I want my ramp. Ah, that's not a ramp! Oh, I didn't hurt. Okay. Ah, playthrough's almost over, guys. And sadly, I yeah couldn't uh, finish it with Pokemon Dudeful. But unless he says uh, that uh, he wants to quit the team entirely, we will finish it. We will finish the game. Or... We will do other playthroughs and finish those playthroughs together. Don't know what I was talking about earlier. Like Ben 10, uh, Protect of Earth. Uh, we will do that co-op entirely. Hmm. <sighs> Well, I guess since the game is almost over, I guess I'd give my two cents about it. Basically, what I think of the game, this is kind of random, uh, of all, uh, out of all, but I don't care. Uh, the game is uh, tedious and shallow, I will uh, admit, uh, it is, uh, but uh, when you think about it, most uh, shooters are. Uh, all they're about is uh, uh, doing... Uh, uh, awesome uh, uh, shooting and killing your enemies. But really, it's still a fun game, and it's mostly, yeah, if you think about it, it's uh, mostly here yeah, for the Star Wars fanboys. Which, I'm not afraid to admit, I am. I love Star Wars. It's uh, one of my yeah, favorite series of all time. Heck, for a time, I watched uh, the cartoon on Cartoon Network. You gotta be, yeah, a, a big fan of Star Wars to watch that crap. And you know what? Huh. Nah. Huh. Uh, this is uh, a good game. Huh. Uh, however, it's uh, more for fans of shooters and uh, Star Wars uh, fans. If it's uh, for uh, more not uh, soft, uh, not hardcore uh, Star Wars fans, well, they won't uh, find it so uh, much enjoyment in it, which I imagine is uh, uh, why he yeah, Pokemon Dude Fall I didn't uh, want to play. He might be a Star Wars fan, or I don't know. But well, overall, well, I'd uh, have to uh, give it a uh, good die. Yes, I rate this uh, uh, game die. Yeah, but I'd uh, give it uh, four stars out of five. It's not perfect. Uh, the the uh, rolling mechanics are weird. Uh, the uh, the gameplay is uh, tedious. The Battle of the Enosis is annoying as heck. But it is definitely better than the sequel. Like, uh, they fixed a good uh, number of those problems. Uh, the uh, For instance, uh, the rolling was uh, much uh, easier uh, to do. Uh, the story, though kind of weird, uh, uh, wasn't just to kill everything. Occasionally there were special missions. Ooh, that's open. And also what I yeah, like to do, take their uh, frilling walker and destroy crap. Ha 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 ha.
I love turning their weapons against the enemy. But, um, yeah. That's what I think about uh, the game. Basically. This level is almost over. There are enemies behind me. And, um... But yeah, ultimately, just play this game if you're a Star Wars fan. If you're not a Star Wars fan, you're not going to get uh, much of a kick out of it. But if you are a Star Wars fan, you'll definitely like it. Ha, huh, I would uh, say that. You will, well, you will love this game if you're a Star Wars fan. I love this game, for sure. It's better than the sequel, and quite frankly... It's definitely, yeah, one of uh, the... In fact, I would almost go so far as to say it's the best day game in the series. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. Mainly, yeah, because uh, I yeah, think uh, that uh, Elite Squadron for PSP might, uh, be, uh, might be better. I've never actually played it, considering I don't have a PSP. <laughs> yeah, but it looks uh, pretty good. Where is that last enemy? Uh, who knows? <laughs> okay, where's the last enemy? Um, I want to uh, end uh, this playthrough sometime soon. Hello? Oh, he's up there. Okay. There he is! Die, 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 die! The playthrough is done! Yes! Yes! This game is awesome, but only for Star Wars fans. Star uh, Trekkies, keep away from it. I will kill you all. Goodbye.